So last week we talked about whiplash. Again, symptoms of whiplash include things like neck pain, back pain, headaches, dizziness, confusion. None of these sound like a good time. And if you've ever been involved in a car accident, you may be wondering how long these symptoms are gonna last. There is good news that with proper evaluation and early treatment, early being the key word here, there's a high likelihood of getting well in a matter of weeks. But one of the most common injuries associated with whiplash is ligament tearing. Again, ligaments are the short, tough bands of connective tissue that hold together the bones in your neck and other joints in your body. If these ligaments are torn, it can cause neck pain, inflammation, swelling, stiffness, etc. The average time it takes a ligament to heal is about six weeks with the proper care and treatment. A nod healed uh, ligament injury can result in osteoarthritis or, or bone spurs, and that can last years, of course. We should also note that if you do notice symptoms like headaches, dizziness, impaired memory, you may have suffered a mild brain injury. Happens uh, very commonly, and a majority of people with these injuries recover within three months. Again, you gotta do the right stuff and get these treatments started early. After an accident, the most important step that you can take is to receive a full, a full evaluation. Only after we actually get that complete evaluation and see your spine will we know what type of injury you've sustained and then most importantly, what we need to do to get you better. It is surprising how many people shrug off a small car accident and push the, the mild symptoms that may be experiencing at first aside. While that may save a little bit of time today, it's likely to result in much more pain down the road, so do not wait. Make a mental note right now to call your favorite trusted chiropractor, hopefully that's us, as soon as possible if you or someone you uh, know has been involved in a car accident. Uh, we will be back next week. We're going to dig even deeper into whiplash. We're going to talk about shoulder injuries that happen and what that means.